Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and I have a really cool packaging update from NARS to share with you. I think it's really cool, hopefully you will too. NARS has completely repackaged their eyeshadow singles and duos so they are super easy to depot. I think it's easy and I am literally the person that breaks every single powder trying to depot it. This is basically foolproof. I'm not 100% sure if all of these shadows have been reformulated or not. Some people are saying that all the shadows are reformulated, but all of the information that came with this launch with the PR from NARS, nothing says a word about reformulation. I'm gonna email NARS and ask them if any of these shadows have been reformulated. So if you're curious about any of that, please check the description box and any updates that I have, I will put down there for you. NARS just relaunched all of their singles and duos. There are 60 shades of the single eyeshadows. 18 of those are the hardwired shadows. The hardwired shadows are $22 each. The regular singles, the mattes, satins, metallics, and glitters, those are 19 each. There are 16 duos and these are $35 each. I think that doing the singles and the duos is probably the most genius part of this because you can switch these out so easily and create your own duos. I'm just gonna show you what I mean. This is the single shadow in the shade Rome. Nice little satiny silver. Just looks like a regular everyday single eyeshadow. But when you look at the back, I don't know if you can tell, there's this little recessed window through which you can see the shade name. And if you push through that window, out pops your shadow. Look at that, look at that, look at that. And then you can just grab it. So you can put this into a magnetic palette. You can switch around your duos. I just think this is so cool. Aside from that little window on the back, these are pretty typical NARS packaging. They have the soft touch matte black, the locking clasp closure. There's a teeny tiny little mirror in there. I don't know who uses that mirror. What is this, a mirror for ants? <laughs> Name that movie. But nonetheless, it's there. <laughs> I have very quickly depotted 12 NARS eyeshadows here and just popped them into this Baby Z palette from Sephora. I went for sort of like half neutral and then half a little bit more bold. And FYI, NARS does have empty palettes that they make. They're available on their website. Kind of tricky to find online, but don't worry. I'm gonna tell you how to do it. If you go to the NARS website and you select build your own palette, then you can choose either a small palette or a large palette. And then it gives you the option to choose different powder products to put in there, face powders, eyeshadows, but you can just add the empty palette to cart. Hopefully I can become a better YouTuber and figure out how to screen record that for you and kind of show you how to get there. There's a small palette for $14. NARS gives oddly specific sizes, but I'll just say it's seven-ish by five and a half inches. And there's a large palette for $18. That one is nine-ish by seven-ish inches. Very smart move on their part to come out with their own magnetic palettes. I wish that they sold just the pans separately. You can initially purchase the pans without these outer compacts but every time you want to replace a shadow when you do that build your custom palette thing you're gonna have to buy a new palette. I wish that there was an option to buy just the pans without purchasing a compact or one of the palettes. Maybe that's something that NARS is going to roll out eventually. It does feel a little bit wasteful to have to buy an individual compact for every eyeshadow so that's something that hopefully they'll work on. I used a couple of these shadows to create my eye look that I'm wearing today. It's a really subtle, like neutral, cool toned look. So I'll show you a quick tutorial on how I got this look. I'll also show you the swatches of my little custom palette that I made. I'm not gonna go through and do the finger and brush swatches. I'll just show you a quick little finger swatch of my custom palette so that you can see the shades and the shade names. 
On the top row we have Kauai 1, Kashmir, Capo San Lucas, Kuala Lumpur 1, Bengali, and Kuala Lumpur 2. On the bottom row I have Strata, Kauai 2, Showgirl, Ultramare, Ganges, and Coconut Grove. Let's tackle these compacts and depot these shades that I'm going to use in my eye look today. I'm just going to take this little single called Cashmere, and you can see the little window here. I'm just going to push that shadow up through the window, easy peasy, and then I can pull out the powder and pop it right into my Z palette. Now I can get rid of all this packaging and consolidate my shades right into my neutral Z palette. To start off my eye look, I'm gonna prime with my favorite eye base. It's the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. Then I mixed a couple of these NYX matte singles just to set that eye base and give a nice smooth surface to work on. I'm gonna start off with Cabo San Lucas, which is a satin finish, and I'm gonna build that into my crease and just sort of build it up onto my eyelid as well. I'm not gonna be too precise with this look. Then I'm gonna take Bengali and I'm gonna use a small fluffy brush to build that up along the outer part of my eye, concentrating most of the color near my lash line. Before I move on, I'm gonna blend both of those colors together using a little bit more of the crease shade Cabo San Lucas. Then I'm gonna take cashmere on my fingertip and pat that over my eyelid. For my lower lash line, I'm going back into Capo San Lucas again and just using a small flat brush to sweep that along the lower lashes. Then for my inner corner highlight, I'm using this shade from MAC called Naked Lunch for a nice subtle pinky pop of shimmer. These three shades make such a perfect addition to my neutral Z palette. To finish off my look, I just curled my lashes and added some of my Wonder Beauty Unlashed Mascara. And that's my finished eye look. It's really simple, easy, wearable, and actually really cool toned. I'm usually a warm girl, but I really love how this look turned out. I love this idea. I don't think it's quite fully formed. If you could buy just the individual pants without the compact, I think it would be perfect. I love the easiness of this as somebody who has destroyed many an eyeshadow and many a powder trying to depot. I love how simple this is. And I do want to point out that even though these are really easy to pop out of the compact, they are very solidly in there. Like the magnet in there is enough to hold it in. It's just much easier to remove than prying it out of the pan. The most useful thing I can think of besides just paring down on the packaging and not having a big old stack of compacts, I love the idea that you can just pop in a couple shadows into one of these duos. Say you're going on a long weekend trip or something like that. You can just grab your favorite neutral palette, grab your chocolate bar, grab your Lorac unzipped or whatever it may be. And you can just take two more bright bold shadows from NARS, pop them right in here. And then you don't have to pack a separate colorful palette. You don't have to bring a stack of colorful singles. You can very easily just say, hey, I want to bring a glittery green or a metallic purple or whatever your neutral palette doesn't have but you know you might wanna play with just once, just one day of your trip, but you don't wanna bring a whole palette. I love the freedom that these little magnetic compacts will give. I'm a big fan of the NARS eyeshadow formula, except for the really glittery ones. I'm just not a big fan of those. That's just personal preference. I think this is a super cool idea. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. Leave a comment, let me know. Let us know what your favorite NARS eyeshadows are. You know I love taking your suggestions, so thank you for always giving such great tips and recommendations. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I totally started filming my video without my camera being on, so <laughs> professional. Uh, ma'am, a magnetic. I'm going to cause a disaster with this tower of eyeshadows. I just know it.